Hey guys, welcome back to the 25 days of Christmas. Today is the long-awaited Christmas coffee and cocoa bar. So let me know in the comments if you'll be setting up a drink area of your home for Christmas with a coffee, cocoa, or tea station and what your favorite topping or add-in choices would be. All right, so I usually start by pulling everything off the counter so I can wipe everything down, including the counters and usually the wall behind it as well when I'm already here wiping everything down and switching it all around for the upcoming season. Now, I started this actually before Thanksgiving and decided to incorporate two pine swags. I had these um, for a couple years. I've used them in tablescapes on my dining table the past couple years, but this year I decided to add lights into it and position them both to kind of be coming out from like behind my tiered stand here in the middle where my coffee cups are. Of course, I wiped out my sugar bowl. Now would also be a great time to check to see if you need to refill your sugar bowl. I've got some fun candy sprinkles that I'm gonna be putting here for adding on top of hot cocoa. These and the peppermint candy canes are some of my favorite add-ins for a Christmas coffee and cocoa bar. Plus they just look super cute sitting out here as well. And I also picked up some M&Ms in Target and I'm just mixing their seasonal flavors. I liked the color combination here. I felt like it fit with my theme, but these seasonal flavors are peppermint and hot cocoa. So that's what I was doing before Thanksgiving. I also left room on the end for putting sodas and our cranberry cider out and stuff like that on Thanksgiving day. So now that Thanksgiving is over, I'm going back and officially bringing in all my Christmas decor on here. This little woodland scene was so cute and came from Christmas tree shops. I've got the candy sprinkles I showed you and I'm also gonna add some peppermint candy pieces now. So you could sprinkle that on top of whipped cream if you want like a peppermint mocha. I'm actually gonna be wrapping the labels on these with some wrapping paper since we don't use that much of the candy and I know these little jars will be out here for the whole season. I might as well make them look cute, right? I'm also adding this Merry Christmas basket. I love the kind of muted red color of the letters because I think it fits a little better with the rest of my decor in my home. And I also love the fact that this basket has a simple dark brown bottom and sides and back so that if I want to turn it over and face it the other way, I might be able to get some more use out of it during the year as well. This little wooden crate basket was from my recent trip to Christmas Tree Shop, which I did film for you guys as well. So be on the lookout for that shop with me video, as well as these hot and cold cups. These are from Christmas Tree Shop as well. They're perfect for when you're on the go, have to get out of the house quick or for guests to use to make their coffee or cocoa in and be able to kind of keep it hot or take it with them. Most of my family likes Nani's Biscottis also, and I know these are kind of like fall flavors, but they still sounded yummy, so I'm adding these into my basket as well. Which, I've got the basket on top of a cake stand here so that the garland could kind of go under and around it. And then inside the basket, I decided to use some small bowls placed upside down inside the basket as a little stand and then since i do have a lot of white coffee cups like i was telling you i'm putting those in there as well to hold the biscotti cookies and also one to hold these peppermint chocolate spoons home goods definitely carries a variety of these i know although this pack of six actually came from christmas tree shop as well when i was there i've got a few of the french vanilla spoons left from my fall coffee bar so i'm going to stick those in as well along with some candy canes I got a package of peppermint candy canes from Dollar Tree, but honestly, I don't know if it was just me or if the Dollar Tree candy canes don't really have the same flavor. They definitely did not taste as good as I remember candy canes tasting as a kid. I thought the organic ones from Target were way better. In fact, I was debating if I should even spend the extra money for them, but I'm so glad that I did. In fact, I had Mike do a blind taste test on them and he said the organic one from Target tasted like you'd expect a candy cane to taste. It kind of tasted to him like we remembered candy canes tasting growing up. He thought the same thing as me. And the one from Dollar Tree, he said tasted kind of like menthol or like a medicine peppermint or something. This one is delicious. It's delicious. And how about this one? Is it yucky? It's yucky? Mm -hmm. But you like that one? Mm -hmm. This kind. It tastes good? <laughs> Yummy. Is it delicious? So we're going to leave the Dollar Tree ones for looks only, for just decorating with. 
hanging in the tree or whatever. I decided to also put my covered cake stand out here. I'll be putting Christmas cookies in here once I do my baking, but for now, I'm using these marshmallow squares that I got from Target. I really liked that these were made with organic sugar and fruit and vegetable juice for color instead of the blue dye that's added to regular marshmallows to give them their bright white color. So I figured I'd give these a try since I know the kids will want a snack on them or add them to their hot cocoa. I got one in the hot cocoa flavor and one in strawberry flavor, and the strawberry one actually says it has organic strawberry concentrate in it, as opposed to just all being artificially flavored. Plus the little marshmallow squares just look super cute in here. I actually wanted to try making my own marshmallows. Let me know if you have any good recipes for making your own marshmallows, but I got a little too busy for trying out recipes and trying to make my own right now, so I just got these instead, so maybe next time. And I got one of these packs of the little gingerbread men peeps. I thought these were super cute. Although we don't usually eat or like peeps very much, I thought these were adorable. So I had to get a pack of them to do a picture of the girls with, with like little gingerbread men in their hot cocoa. The things we do for our scrapbook pictures, Instagram and family memories, right? If you're wondering about the turning cake stand here, this was entirely my husband's idea. I thought it was going to be silly, but it actually looks pretty cute, and I think it took the fun factor up a couple notches just for the novelty of it, for sure. I'll link whatever I can for you guys down below. Also, I would love to know, are you doing a coffee, cocoa, or tea bar area in your home for Christmas? And do you have favorite topping choices that you like to add in? Let me know in the comments. I want to hear your ideas. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon. Bye.